Dude, Randy, this is not the thousand water. This is a 1600. Holy shit. That's, that's crazy. What are you gonna do with 1600 watts of power? Unbelievable. So check it out. I was, uh, we were doing the review on the uh, X3 1000 watt. I got the 1600 watt PSU. I don't even know what to tell you this is used for because every spec on this is overkill. It has more connections than you could ever need. It has more amperage on the 12 volt rail than you could fill with like five video cards. And it runs at 1600 watts. It's absolutely crazy. Check it out. This thing is so insane. Literally, if you're to look at it, like it's got a hundred and uh, what is it? 135 millimeter fan right here, right back over here. It's got the cooling towers for the nuclear power plant. It's insane. Check this out. There's regulations uh, regard with the FCC that limit how much power you can actually go through a plug. So if you want this thing, check this out. This is the regular plug that you're used to. If you're using this plug, 1200 watts is the maximum this will do. If you want to crank it up to 1600 watts, you need to get one of these puppies. This is, this is crazy. This is, you know, when you're, you're, you're true, you're hardcore, when you're having an electrician come to your house to put a dedicated circuit for the power supply of your computer. That's when you know that you're a true G, that you're a gangster. This is crazy, hard to believe, but it is true. You actually need a separate plug for this. You're gonna need an electrician to come out to set this up. So let's talk about this thing, 1600 watts. Not only is it 1600 watts, but it's actually quiet and get this, the efficiency rating on it is 85%. If you know anything about efficiency rating on PSUs, that's fantastic. Let's talk to you about something else too. Let's say you have, uh, let's say you actually happen to have one right here. Let's say you have three of these. This is the GTX 280. This happens to be the for the win edition, so it's overclocked, it's more powerful. You know how many amps this thing pulls on the 12 volt rail, just one of them? 26. So uh, quick math, what's 26 times three? Anybody? I suck. Anybody? Bueller? 74. Bueller? 74. 78. Uh, 78. We have a talented crew here. 28 amps on the 12 volt rail or 40, whatever. This thing has, you know how much it has? All right, one card's 26. You know how many amps are on this single rail, which is a single rail solution is great. 117 amps. What you're gonna do with that, way beyond me. You can probably run about 10 hard drives, three GTX 280s, a water cooling system, lights, motherboard, overclocked processor, three DVD drives with a Blu-ray player. You could. I mean, you can have a microwave inside your PC and still have enough power with this thing. It's insane, it's out of control. And let me show you this. This is the box with all the stuff on here. So I'm gonna show you what's in here in a second. Now, real quick, ATX, this is gonna take the version 2.2 and the 1.3. So don't try to put this in a mid tower. This has gotta go in a full tower. Uh, it is FCC and UL recognized. And I'll tell you another thing, mean break time to failure or mean time to break failure, MTBF, is 100,000 hours at full load. So that's really good. That's a very reliable power supply. Now, check this out. Of course, it's modular as you can see. So take a look at that. All modular. You're only gonna have the plugs that you're gonna need to use. It's gonna keep your case, uh, your cable management nice and tidy. It's gonna keep the airflow in your case great. You're gonna look good if you have a show computer. And uh, let's talk about the connectivity finally. Check this out. This is insane. I'm just gonna dump them out because there's just way too many. Can you see that? Isn't that insane? Unbelievable amount of connectivity. So, 24 pin motherboard connector, modular in the box. PCI Express connector, here's an eight pin. You have two of those. Let's see, let me find a six pin. Here's another eight pin. SATA connectors, you know how many you got of these? You got 10 SATA connectors, or SATA, however you wanna say it. You got 10 Molex connectors. So that's 20 connectors for hard drives and peripherals alone. You have an eight pin motherboard for the 12 volt. You have a four pin motherboard. You have four six pin PCI Express and then you have another two eight pin PCI Express. So pretty much 10 hard drives, 10 optical drives, a motherboard, a water cooling system, fans, and two or three very, very, very big video cards. So the only thing that you're not gonna be able to do is do three uh, GTX 280s with the native plugs. You'd have to get the little adapters, but who cares? I mean, look, look, at, look how many cables are included. So it's all in the box. So if you're one of the four people in the world who's gonna use a product like this, you can ask me questions about it, but I don't want you guys ask, asking me questions if uh, you, know, you have a, a, an AMD X2, like 4400, 4200, you know, this is not for you. This is for hardcore people, lots of water cooling, lots of overclocking, uh, microwaves, air conditioning. It's gonna run all that great stuff. A very cool product, very interesting from uh, X3 Ultra. I was very uh, surprised to get it. So if you have any questions, email me. See you guys next time.
For more information on the Ultra X3 1600 watt power supply, go to CompUSA.com and type in ULT40070 into the search box. Or you can always call us 24 hours a day, seven days a week at 1-800-COMP-USA.